सो वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड होप दैट यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो टुडे आई एम अगेन विद लेटेस्ट फिजिक्स गैस फॉर मार्च सेशन 2024, व्हिच इज अकॉर्डिंग टू द लेटेस्ट सिलेबस एंड इन दिस गैस पेपर वी विल हैव अ कंप्लीट लुक ऑन द मार्क्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन अलॉन्ग विद द क्वेश्चन पेपर पैटर्न एंड दोज यूनिट्स फ्रॉम विच लॉन्ग ऑनसर टाइप क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्क सो लेट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यूर क्वेश्चन पेपर इट विल कंसिस्ट ऑफ four sections section a it will have one mark question objective based that is very short answer type questions carrying one mark so there are total 10 questions so 10 marks next is your section b it will have nine questions and carrying two marks so total 18 marks next is section c it will have also nine questions and they will carry three mark each that is 27 marks and the last that is the section d that is very long answer type question there will be only three questions and which will carry five mark each so total of 15 marks right this will be the pattern question paper pattern next is let's start now with the unit first it carries nine marks right unit first it will be very important it carries nine marks so the important topics are just we are having the columns la and you should uh, derive it in both vector and scalar form right then we are having the gauss's law and its application this will be very important see actually here uh, in this law you have to actually calculate the electric field due to sheet of charges and line of charges i write it here one is because of sheet of charges another is because of line of charges so you will go through this this is the application of this next is uh, due to spherical shell of charges right spherical spherical shell of charges then here you will uh, study equipotential surfaces right their properties uh, similarly uh, capstans of uh, parallel plate capacitors right with and without dielectric slab this is very important with and without dielectric slab this is here and dielectric slab then you will study here uh, torque on electric dipole in uniform field right torque on electric dipole in uniform field and then similarly you will also have a look on conservation and quantization of charge right this is also important conservation and quantization of charges right then let's move towards the next uh, unit that is your unit number second it carries five marks it carries seven marks right and this here you will study first of all drift velocity drift velocity will be important and its relationship with current right you have to actually derive this uh, drift velocity and also its relationship with the current and then next is very important that is the kirchhoff's law and wheatstone bridge right this will be very important similarly electromotive force internal uh, resistance right terminal potential difference and particularly this one resistance we know that resistance is equal to rho r by l numerical question based questions are always asked from this uh, resistance that if we just uh, increase the length of a wire or if we increase or decrease the area then what will happen to the resistance and i hope that you will go through this next is unit number unit number 3 this will be very important nine marks it has and from this unit you will expect a long answer type question so from this unit you will have long answer type question that's unit 3 this will be very important unit so the important topics are biot savet's law and its application to find magnetic field at axis and center of circular and semi circular loop so prepare all this this is very important then we are having ampere circuit law and its application it will be very important then we are having lorentz force right lorentz force it will be important and similarly you have to find the force uh, in current carrying conductor this is current carrying conductor and you have to also find the torque right torque on current loop this cl stands for current loop so you have to find it out this will be here important now in this uh, unit third 
the next important topic is galvanometer right it is structure working functioning right how it works actually what is the principle similarly current and voltage sensitivity what is current and voltage sensitivity then torque on magnetic dipole right and force between two long infinite current carrying conductor it will be also very important next is the magnetic properties i hope you have already studied these one is the paramagnetism right we are having diamagnetism we are having ferromagnetism and what are these substances you have to remember the examples and the properties right so from this unit it, you will remember that long answer type question will be asked then we are having the next unit 4 and this is very important it also carries 9 marks and from this unit you will also be asked long answer type question so long answer type question carrying 5 mark will also be asked from this unit 4 so one was the unit 3rd next is unit 4 now here you will study Faraday's uh, Faraday's uh, law that's actually Faraday's uh, laws of electromagnetic induction here it is electromagnetic induction and next is here actually this is lenz's law lenz's law you will study this faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction and lenz's law next is what is self and mutual induction next is average and root mean square value of alternating current right similarly power consumed in lcr circuit right and then you will also here study the uh, working functioning of this transform and ec generator right so this will be the unit uh, uh, four from which long answer type question will be asked then we are having unit fifth unit fifth it carries only three marks so here you will just study the properties and uses of electromagnetic waves just you are having the electromagnetic spectrum isn't it here you will uh, remember the order of wavelength order of uh, frequency right then you should also be able to calculate the energy which will which electromagnetic wave will have very high energy which will be dangerous right so you will have a look on these electromagnetic waves then we are having next unit 6 it carries 14 marks that's actually your optics and from this unit you will expect long answer type question and from this unit definitely long answer type question will be asked so what are the important topics here you will study mirror formula right and lens lens makers formula this very important then it is the total internal reflection and its conditions right optical fiber it's actually having application in optical fiber this total internal uh, resistance right total internal reflection this very important total internal reflection then we are having Huygens principle this is very important Huygens principle you should be able uh, to derive law of ref refraction I will write it here law of refraction from this principle that is the Huygens principle you should be able to derive law of refraction it's very important so here you will now study laws of reflection and refraction then uh, prove by using Huygens principle as I told so Young's double slit experiment this very important and uh, it's used to find the fringe width right fringe width so this is your having unit uh, six now more questions from this will be conditions for constructive and destructive interference right similarly what is sustained interference and what are its conditions what are coherent sources right diffraction through single slit right so you will study all these next we are having unit seven it carries only four marks right and that's actually here you will study dual nature of matter right and electromagnetic radiation de Broglie's dual nature photoelectric effect is very important here and its verification Einstein's photoelectric effect right Einstein's photoelectric equation we are having here right you will go through this similarly de Broglie's wave equation you already know lambda is equal to h upon mv right and then it's another derivation here uh, which is in terms of energy you will also remember that so question will be asked from this next uh, you will here study that is actually next unit that is your unit 8 so that's actually here we have to study the models right we are having Rutherford's model Bohr's model limitations you will remember of that of Rutherford's model and similarly postulates of Bohr's model they are very important and its application in Bohr's model you should be able to calculate the radius the velocity the energy of nth orbit in hydrogen atom right and then you will study here the mass defect and binding energy right then the variation of binding energy per nucleon with 
um, just uh, its variation with mass number this is a a actually stands for mass number so its variation you have to study with mass number then what is nuclear fission and nuclear fusion reaction you will also go through this next is your unit uh, 9 and this is the last unit so it carries seven marks so here you will study the intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductors right then you will here study n and p type semiconductors pn junction diode right and biasing of pn junction diode this is very important forward and reverse biasing right then you have to also remember the application of this diode that is diode as a rectifier so hope that you have understood which topics are important and from which unit the long answer type question will be asked. Still, if you have any doubt, you can just comment in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.